Hi, welcome to the Ask Patrick series. The question is, when I'm writing CT mocks, should I write mocks based on the old pattern or the new pattern? Now, everyone will have a different opinion. I have a different, I have a different opinion maybe. I feel the CT will revert back to the old pattern, right? That's what I have a feeling in terms, because this has happened before also where one year the pattern changed and suddenly it went back to the old pattern. But there's no harm in writing papers based on a new pattern. So that means what I would rather recommend is to try to write both the old pattern paper and new pattern paper so that you're used to both of it. Just in case the pattern changes, you're again used to it, you've written maps as you understand it. But if it comes in the old papers, you should be also able to write in the old pattern. So when we are making a mock for a class, we will also try to balance between the old pattern and a new pattern so that you have enough uh, practice both in the old pattern of the paper, the way it was, and a new pattern with a jumbled type of questions that could help you as far as possible. So when you're writing the CT mocks as such, since it's very difficult to predict, because last year also they had mentioned in the form saying that there'll be four separate, four sections, etc. but the actual exam was different. So very difficult to predict how it's going to be. But assuming that, uh, you know, uh, CT is unpredictable, try to look at both type of mocks, practice both type of mocks and uh, get used to it so that you're not left with surprises. Yes, that will also involve a little extra preparation because a few type of questions in a new pattern which have been not written into old pattern like the paper cutting abstract and so on and so forth. But I think that would be important in terms of uh, being safe so that you don't get surprised as far as the exam is concerned. Right? Hope that helps. Thank you.